Libra, it's your girl Tara Carfe. I'm here to do your love reading for June. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram if you're interested in a personal reading. Feel free to email me at taracarfay at gmail.com. I'm also doing a giveaway for a 30 minute reading. All you have to do is subscribe on YouTube, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, and then email me saying, yo, I want a reading. And I will pick the winner tomorrow on Freaky Friday, June 4th. Probably going to do it pretty late, like 11 or something. Late as I can remember to do it, you know what I mean? So, let's jump in. I just felt a giggly vibe. Kind of a mixture for you, uh, Libra, of just laughing. And I'm feeling a little bit selfish. Like I'm getting this, I want what I want type of energy. I'm selfish. I want you all to myself. That's a song by uh, PNB Rock, I think. Um, but I don't always get songs. And I don't want to be corny and lame by saying a song every time. But I tell you lately, when I say I'm doing a certain sign, I get a different song in my brain. So I'm selfish. I want you all to myself. Now, Libra's we the lover boy, lover boy, lover girl of the zodiac. Love is something that you live and die for. So let's see. I'm a Virgo Libra cusp. That love stuff is real. That Venus and Libra is super real. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that being said, let's get into your reading. I'm gonna pull a card for the overall energy for your love life and the person you are dealing with for June. Overall energy for Libra is King of Cups. Water sign, water sign, water sign. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. You're holding back emotions. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Just did their reading. They had some holding back of emotions. Deep emotions are there, but it's it's not being expressed. Not being talked about in the month of June. Now let's look into your love interests here. Love interests. Let's see how love looks what the love interest thinks about libra for the month of june one card please the moon you'd definitely be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio specifically pisces and cancer let's clarify the moon for how your person feels why is the moon here in your person's feelings and the sun sun and the moon Excuse my nail. Things happen in life. King of Cups again. So go for y'all. Here we go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be somebody's black mama today. I'm not gonna do it. Both of y'all are hiding emotions. Sun and Moon conflicted as hell. Also a very strong energy. Like one of you are like the Sun and one of you are like the Moon. One, you know, that's how they feel about you. Like you bring this light to their life, happiness to their life. But they're hiding it. They're not telling you. What, what's going on here? Uh, let's see. Let's see how this person sees you, Libra. If I said Gemini, I'm sorry. How does this person see Libra for the month of June? How does this King of Cups two times see, <laughs> see Libra for the month of June? Oh, Beauty and the Beast. They definitely see you with the lover's energy. They also could be thinking about you making a choice to actually leave them out in the cold. They think you're leaving. This person thinks you're leaving or they perceive you as someone who could be leaving them or leaving the situation. How do you feel about, uh, no, I gotta be nosy. I gotta, I don't know how people do nine minute readings. I just don't know. Why does this person think you're going to leave them Libra? Let's clarify. Why does this person think you're leaving them? How do they see you as leaving? Talk to me. Somebody was a F boy, F girl. F boy, F girl behavior is here. Tiptoeing, creeping, being strategic, being avoidant, 
that is why they see you as leaving. Let's see how you feel about this person. That's my F boy, F girl card. How does Libra feel about this person? How does Libra feel about this person? How does Libra feel? You holding back, but you have strong emotions. Very strong. So strong that you got to hold yourself back from it. You know, we're not holding ourselves back from stuff we don't want in life. We hold ourselves back from stuff we really, really, really want that we think is going to control us. One more card with how you feel. Page of coins. You're still giving to this a little bit. You have pulled back your energy and you are only giving page energy. So you might only be texting. You might not be saying much. Um, we also have this Eight of Swords prison in your own making. So this is how you feel about this person. This person, this, this person's not given enough in your opinion. You do have a strong connection with them, but it, it gets you trapped in your head. So maybe that's why this person thinks you may be leaving Libra because you ain't got time for this. You just don't have time for this. What is this in this person's fears that you're leaving? That you're leaving to find something to fulfill you. Maybe you've communicated that you're not fulfilled in this situation. Don't know if it's a committed relationship. But they really fear you leaving. Like, they really do fear it. And they're not showing you this. They're not telling you this. They're just pulling back their energy. But they think you're going to leave. And that's why they're pulling back their energy, Libra. Yeah, Five of Swords. That's their fear. They fear losing you. This makes me sad. I don't like this. They think you're healing from this. They think that you're over them. This temperance energy could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio. Very strong Scorpio. Very strong Pisces. Strong Sagittarius as well. Hmm sad but like what you gonna do about it fam <laughs> like you just gonna let her go or let him and her go or whoever you just letting them leave when you don't want them to leave but you're like oh i mean i don't want you to leave but if you don't go i'm gonna just watch you people are lame boy lame let's <laughs> get some cards for the mutual energy one card for the mutual energy between these two libra and their love interests Seven of Swords, again, for the mutual energy. Both of y'all are afraid. It's like, take everything and run. There's fear here. Um, there's fear because of deception that either has happened in the beginning, in your past relationship with this person, but... Uh, there is fear here. Well, another card for the mutual energy. Both of y'all are afraid. Three of Wands. Both of y'all want to grow. You want this. You want to grow. You want to expand. You want to see what future could be between you two, but you're scared. And Ace of Swords. Clarity. Truth. And also needing to cut through the BS. Both of y'all, both of y'all are being wild. Why is this Seven of Swords here? What happened? Why is this Seven of Swords here for Libra and their person? This is in the mutual energy. Why is Seven of Swords here in the mutual energy? I almost seen the Three of uh, Swords, by the way. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Somebody needed to make a choice or someone made a choice in the past. Someone decided to move forward with one person. You see that one in the back? Leave another person. Somebody got left here. One more card for why. Seven of Swords is here. Yep, the devil. Someone. So. Y'all both might think this is toxic. I think y'all, this is a cycle where maybe... There's some communication, then it turns toxic, then y'all disconnect, then y'all reconnect. But the the reason why y'all both feel this Seven of Swords energy is because someone made a choice based on passion, not based on emotion. And y'all don't trust each other because of this. 
There's a lack of trust here. All right. So obstacles. What are the obstacles between Libra and their love interests? Kind of answered that, but we're going to see what we get. What are the obstacles between Libra? Uh, ching, ching, ching goes the money tree. Ten of Pentacles. Someone may have stability placed elsewhere. Someone may, this person that they chose, they could still be with them, but they may have their money somehow connected. Um, it could definitely be like a family life situation. We also got the Emperor. Someone could definitely be in a relationship, be married, just be a very controlling person, like control. And that could be causing some issues here. Another obstacle. Queen of Swords. There's some impulsiveness here. There's either there's either a pulse impulsiveness to run away, like every time something's wrong, one of y'all or both of y'all run away instead of standing your ground and being like, you know what, something you did I really don't like, and let's talk about it. One or both of you is always like, you know what, I don't like this shit, I'm about to go. Instead of saying, let's talk about this. It's almost like you would rather throw it away and then to work on it. And that could be Libra, you know, because if it's not balanced, Libra wants to burn it to the ground. It's either, it's either balance or it's anarchy for Libra. So maybe that's you that wants to tear this to the ground if it's not working in the way that you need. All right, so is this person watching you? World Wide Web, they are watching you online. They're watching you like you're a whole series. They're watching you more than they watch at Netflix. They are on it. They on you. They on you, shorty. Shorty, they are on you. Yeah, Three of Cups energy definitely could be third party and the Three of Pentacles came out. They may also want to wine and dine you, but I think they're watching you online enjoy your life. And that's causing some jealousy. I don't know where I got the jealousy from, but the King of Cups just sometimes this card makes me feel like a person is a bit jealous. Like it's a bit of a hater vibe. It's like they hate you because they ain't you or they hate you because they not with you. But they made the choice not to be with you. That is ridiculous. Definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio. Definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn. Let's see what this person's next actions are. This person's next action towards Libra for the month of June. Ten of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know. Yeah, they damn sure don't know. And the Six of Cups. This is the actions, right? So first, essentially, I got Ten of Swords. I'm like, okay, they're going to end it. But then we got the Queen of Pentacles after that. Could be dealing with a Virgo. So... What are we ending with this Ten of Swords energy for the next action? What's being ended? Clarify the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? That's what's being ended. Fuckery. In and out behavior is over. Them running to other people, other men, other women. Over. They're rushing in. But they need to cancel this. Or they plan on not being so flighty and sticking around okay that's interesting let's see what your action is usually i don't ask what uh the signs action is but i don't know i'm just getting too much of their energy making choices on your behalf like this isn't just about you so this isn't about you love interest this is about Libra. Libra, what do you plan to do? What are your next actions when it comes to this person? Oh, love anyway. Two of Cups. That's that love or love girl, love a girl, love a boy type of stuff. 
dying for love, hopeless romantic, giving this person another chance, eight of pentacles, willing to put the work in even if it hurts you, even if it's difficult. You know this is not going to be easy to rebuild. Definitely could be dealing with the Gemini, by the way. And the sun. Libra, you plan on being open and honest and not letting the past interact, um, excuse me, distract this, distract you from this person coming forward. So if this person comes forward to you, Gemini, you're just going to take them with open arms and not even talk about the past. You're like, okay, you here now? Let's do it. I don't need to talk about what went wrong here. You know, we know what went wrong. All right. What about advice? Advice for Gemini dealing with this person for the month of June. The full new beginning. You need to clean slate it. And that seems like what you're going to do anyway. If this person comes forward, start with a clean slate. Knight of Swords. Clear communication. Communicate clearly. And the hair fine. Have faith. Like my dad tells me, believe in your own fabulousness. Have faith that however this plays out is for your best interest. It's not easy to do, but it, it's going to play out how it wants to play out anyway. So what's the point of stressing about it? This is me talking to me because I, you know, will stress. But this is going to play out how it's going to play out. So you might as well relax, kick your feet up. Be in your empress energy and let this person come come to you because it seems like you've done enough here i'm going to pull some soulmate oracle cards for libra sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night i believe jim and i got this as well i just did their reading i can't really remember anything i actually watch readings back like it's not even me because i can't remember the readings from when i did them one more card for Oracle for Libra. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never make permanent decisions on temporary emotions. Yes. Being impulsive, not knowing how things are going to go, and just being like, oh, you know what? I don't want this because I have no clue what's going on. You know, you might regret that. Make a decision. Do you want this person or not? If you want this person, you got to ride it out. If you don't, then you have to walk away. Like, that's life. And it's funny because I looked at the bottom of the deck before I started your reading and I got this card. Life is a giant, big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can. So live your life. Don't expect this to be perfect. Um, life experience is what make life interesting. I got another one. The reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected and believe in this connection. Like, if you 100% believe that you guys have something unbreakable, unshakable, passionate, unique, believe in it, take your hands off the, the wheel and, and relax. Relax. All right. Libra, I think I'm going to finish air signs today, so I'll finish Gemini. No, I'll finish Aquarius. And then we'll be off to the water signs. Uh, I am doing a free giveaway, so look at the giveaway video. This is to celebrate 100 followers on YouTube. You do have to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. Also, send me an email saying, hey, Tara Carbe, I want to um, be added to the entry. I'm going to pull the winner tomorrow, which is Freaky Friday, June 4th. Pretty late in the evening, like 11. I'm going to set a timer I want it to be later just so everybody gets a chance to send in this. Um, Libra, it's been a pleasure. Lover boy, lover girl of the Zodiac, I hope you find the love that you deserve. I hope you find somebody that fights for you as hard as you fight for others. Love y'all. Take care.